Hi there, I'm Sam Hutchison, captain of your Spring Hill JV women's basketball team. I'm here today to talk to you about the uh, true story of the Spring Hill College football team. Now, we spent about five minutes uh, looking up information about the football team online, and we couldn't find anything. So I'm going to go ahead and make everything up for the next five minutes. Uh, this is how I imagine it all went down. People don't actually realize this, but the term fumble wasn't around until after Springle College's football team. This all started uh, by the name of a player, uh, sorry, a player by the name of uh, John Jacob Fumble. Now, John Jacob Fumble, yeah, he couldn't really hold on to the ball very well. So every, every other play, it seemed like he would drop the ball and the other team would recover it. Now, there wasn't really a term for this at the time, so everyone was like, oh, there goes John Jacob Fumble, fumbling again. Oh, man, we might as well just call it a fumble by now. And that's how the term fumble actually came around. The term interception also came from this school. The quarterback's name was Richard Interception. Uh, now, he would oftentimes, probably seven or eight times a game, throw it to the other team. His teammates got pissed off at him, so they go, oh, wow, look at Richard, throwing the ball to the other team again. Shh, might as well call it an interception. Richard Interception, Shh. Yeah, right. Psh. Spring Hill College did have one All-American throughout its uh, college football history. His name was John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. He was unstoppable. No one could even tackle him. Now, it's not because he was that good. It's more because uh, he was in a wheelchair and no one wanted to be that guy to tackle him. Uh, throughout the game, the other coach would be, go on, tackle him, man. Nah, dude, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna be that guy. So uh, the Spring Hill College team, uh, while they may not have had the success on the field, they definitely uh, had it after the season. Every team, every player uh, in the graduating class of 93 actually got drafted. Now, uh, only one player, the All-American, wheelchair-bound John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, got uh, drafted into the NFL. Everyone else got drafted uh, by the US Army. After the season, when they found out they had been drafted to the front lines in France, um, renowned Spring Hill College football players Steven Seagal and Matt Damon were discussing their futures. Matt Damon turned around to Seagal and said, I can't wait to play in the National Football League. I'm going to tackle everyone. And then Steven Seagal turned right around and said, I can't wait to go to France. I'm going to tackle Hitler. Sadly, neither one of them ended up tackling Hitler. To be completely honest, I'm not even sure if Spring Hill College actually had a uh, football team. Uh, I'm still not convinced that this isn't all one big conspiracy, man, to like just sell a bunch of t-shirts in the bookstore saying like, Spring Hill College undefeated, man. With these t-shirts being sold in the bookstore for years, I'm sure by now Spring Hill's made hundreds of thousands or maybe tens of dollars selling these t-shirts. So to sum up Spring Hill College's college football history, everyone got drafted. We have one of the best college football players in the history of college football in renowned All-American John Jacob. And Spring Hill College's bookstore made $30 to $40 selling t-shirts saying Spring Hill College football. True story, maybe. Hi, my name is Rebecca Maruki and welcome to DIY Dormit Yourself. Do you ever wonder how you can spruce up your dorm or your apartment? You can with these LED lights. First, we're going to be looking at the LED light strips. The first thing you're going to have to do is try to find a place in your apartment or in your dorm that has a flat surface in the bottom. You're going to take the strip and you're going to remove the protective paper behind it to expose the adhesive. If you would like your lights to stay on longer, you can use super glue or any type of adhesive similar to that. You'll next unroll the lights and then attach them to the bottom of the surface. Once you're done attaching it to the surface, you're going to want to plug it into the power source. You then turn on and select your settings. You can buy the lights at Amazon, Home Depot, Lowe's, or Best Buy. 
Next, we're going to be looking at the app-controlled limitless LEDs. You can look for any of these lights in iLumen, Limitless LED, or Philips Hue. Installing it is as easy as installing a regular light bulb. Find any light bulb socket which you'd like to change colors, and then download the app. Once you've downloaded the app, you can change the settings for the light bulb within your tablet or your smartphone. Now you can see your apartment in a whole new light. I'm Rebecca Marroquin, and this is DIY. Dorm it yourself. This is Ashley. She's about to leave her Facebook profile open in a public place. This is Nick. Nick is posting a pretty hilarious status on Ashley's wall. You can't log out of life, Ashley. Don't be an Ashley. A message from students everywhere. Impossible. Entra. Senor, ¿has visto el reporte nuevo? El de esta mañana? Sí, lo estoy leyendo. No. El nuevo. La biblioteca está en fuego. El baño está en fuego. Los niños están en fuego, señor. Estoy en fuego. Oh. ¿Qué vas a hacer? Yo, yo voy a correr. Lo siento. Policía. Hi guys, I'm Carrie Ebanks and this is On The Spot. From spiders to thong flip-flops, I'm asking students what makes them cringe 100%. Oh gosh, feet. I hate feet so much. Uh, I really do. It's weird. It's like a weird thing that I have. Tarantulas. Because they're like hairy spiders. They don't make sense. Is it a mammal? Is it a spider? Will it eat me? I don't know. They're just creepy. Definitely the word moist. So. Political Facebook posts. Yeah. When people put too much gel in their hair, and they kind of look like a palm tree. Yeah, I don't like that. Toenails. I got a dirty toe too. What makes me cringe, this is gonna sound really nerdy, but this is absolutely true. When people say different than, rather than different from. Um, I cringe every single time someone makes a joke and then laughs at their own joke. Like, it's okay when it's a good joke and people laugh with you, but if nobody's gonna laugh, don't laugh because it just makes everybody really uncomfortable and then you just need to walk away from the situation. I'll have to say the web assign homework in calculus. Spiders, I can't do spiders, they freak me out. Oh, oh yes, oh, speaking of Star Wars again, what makes me cringe 100% of the time is anyone that defends the first three Star Wars movies, episodes one, two, and three, because they're actually awful. So that makes me cringe a lot. Jar Jar Binks, that's all I have to say. What is the cringiest thing of all times? And I'd have to say it's sunglasses inside drops microphone. When dudes wear those thong sandals with the thing in between the toe, it's nasty. Reporting for Badger Block, I'm Carrie Ebanks. This is Nick. Nick posted a status to Ashley's Facebook. This is Ashley. 
Ashley had both her grandmothers unfriend her. And now Nick has milk on his head. Don't be a Nick. A message from students everywhere. And now, your student feature presentation. I'm Eduardo Gomez, and this uh, is... First name Clint, last name Griffin. Uh, we work here in... Uh, let's get the day started here. Uh, we work in an office here called uh, COPS, which is the Campus Office of Public Safety. Um, How many years have we been here? Uh, shoot, 15? shoot. Yeah, I put around 15 years. <sighs> Time flies by when you're loving your job. You're huh? darn right. You're darn right. Kids. So, kind of what we do day by day, uh, just kind of roam the campus. Uh, go on patrol. These are the dormitories where the kids live over here. Uh, the student center where they do st student stuff. Just serving justice. Yeah, you know. But, uh, yeah, can just kind of check it out, feeling our way around the campus right now. Just uh, just your average day. Yeah. You know? I, I started this job because, uh, you know, I just I just love helping the community, mm -hmm. helping kids out. Mm -hmm. I love the students here. They're, Absolutely love they're them. They're our future. Yeah, know? they really are. They're building America. I mean... I mean, that, they're all we got. Yeah. All we got to take care of them. Look at, look at this little scamp right here. Look at this uh, little scamp here. Who's that, Kevin? That uh, Kevin? I believe Kevin, yeah. What's up, little Kevin? Hey, bud. How you hey, doing? Hey, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Shut up, little Mr. Gomez. You suck. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't take that Dude. here, son. Come on. I was just saying, hey. Yeah, come on. I don't on. care. You suck. Hey, son. Son. Be terrible. Son. Don't talk to me. Son, you better calm down. Hey. I think you're cool, but you're son. nothing. Hey. Son, you better you're calm down. You're nothing. Hey, hey. What? Calm down. What do you have in your hand, man? Nothing, man. What's it? I think we got COVID. What? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Hey, 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 I'm trying. Right. So, usually, usually, these crazy kids right here, usually we just let them go off on their own. But, uh, I, oh, God, oh, God, he's beating them. Oh, man. He's beating them. He's beating them. Oh, I have, uh, hey, come uh, here, young man. What are you come doing? Here, Officer Griffin's really the perfect guy, you know. He's uh, he's my other half. What? Well, let me rephrase that. Uh, we're more like life partners. Uh, we're we're just partners, okay? But you know, public safety is our life. So. Oh, where we sitting, partner? <laughs> yeah, over there. All right, all right, cool. Sounds good. Let's get it. I yeah. Got a lot of cookies. Yeah. You know, me and Gomi here, we've been, uh, you know, we've been best friends since we got on 15 years ago. Uh, absolutely inseparable. Uh, you know, we do everything together from, uh, you know, from working. Not everything. Yeah, everything. Everything you could think of together. Uh, you know, from. Not really. From we make each other dinner sometimes. You know, we share meals. We break bread together. Uh, play a little, play a little basketball on Wednesdays in this league. Uh, you know, it's it just an incredible relationship that I'm just so happy to have. Uh, you know, my old life partner here. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Your sister still asking about me? No, no, she never. No, no, she definitely the was. She the Christmas there. party? She was asking about me at the Christmas party. No, you weren't invited to yes, the Christmas party. You what? showed up. <laughs> Doesn't okay. matter. Doesn't. Oh, what do we? We got the here. SGA gang again. It's these hoodlums have been going around campus, Who's putting CD? their stuff everywhere. Who's, is that a B or D? I don't like that. I don't like that. I think CD four. Is that some sort of code. some sort of binary code? Gang code. I don't like it. Oh, well, here we go. We got him right here. Oh, here's the phone. What's up, buddy? Hey, what you doing? Hey, guys. Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just talking. Hey, all. don't talk to us. Yeah. Answer what are you talking question. for? What are you talking? What's in your hand? What's, it's, what's in your hand? Huh? What's your name? Huh? Who's Flynn? Is that your gang president? Is Flynn your gang president? Charles Dandelion, SGA 
Hopeful. Yeah, not hopeful oh, anymore. Oh, turn over. Yeah, oh, turn over. Roll, yeah, roll over. I got yeah, yeah, sure. I have thirty seven dollars in my back wall. Yeah, you take it all. So you can't buy yeah. So what we like to do here? What we like to do is when we get a perfect like take the wallet as well. So uh buy money for drugs. Oh my wrist. Teaches them a lesson too. It's too tight on my wrist. Shut up. Yeah. And that's the other thing that was complaining about, it's too tight, but it's never tight enough, alright? Because we don't take this crime, alright? This is justice. This is justice. Hey, you pipe down, punk. You pipe yeah. that Han. Yeah. Han. I got his debit. Yeah, I got his debit card right yeah. here. All right, yeah. put it back in there. there. Go. All right, oh. let's go. He don't say let's a go. word to anybody. I took your debit card. You got it? Help me pick this I'll probably card. tell let's the go. bank yeah. so they can cancel it. Get up. Yeah. Get up. Yeah. Get up. Yeah. Stand up. Yeah. Uh, my name's uh, Charles Dandelion. Uh, everything's dandy, heart of a lion. Vote SGA 2016. Um, hey. Been... Hey. All right, this isn't a tea party, a little chit chat. Right? sure not. Yeah, you're under arrest, buddy. All right. Pipe down back there. Yeah, you keep your mouth shut. You turn away too. You look away. I, just, I don't. I don't know if this chalking not part of the policy. It's called graffiti. It's not chalking. It's called graffiti. Defacing this beautiful. God. Okay. Sicko. This a uh, this is a nice machine y'all got here. Uh, I know it is. I know it is. Yeah. How, how, how fast y'all clock her in at? Uh, around 15. That's yeah, like, yeah, 15, 20 miles per hour. Pedal to the metal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, we're getting a call right now. Got the wheels on. Uh, yeah, we got a 619er. Uh, uh, what? 619er, uh, escape fugitive. What? Escape. Oh, oh my God. God. All right. Uh, turn around. No, I'll just hit her in reverse. Can I clothesline him this time? No, we're going to get him. We All right. Him. All right, we're going to get him. You can clothesline him. All right, we're going to clothesline him. Hello, right there, camera guy. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. We had a good, uh, we had a good day. Yeah, yeah, I'd say. Uh, done. Yeah, done. we uh, we changed some lives today. Um, this is your stop here, buddy. Uh, you go ahead and get out. Yeah. Uh, hey, stop you uh, you be safe. Yeah. Same time, same hey, place tomorrow. Yeah, we'll okay? catch you tomorrow, pal. All right. See you, buddy. Take it easy, buddy. Yeah. This is what you Don't give it to you. Wait for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to you. And here's the fountain. Yeah, I really want you to get in on this fountain right here. Here. Getting real close, right? This is the fountain of youth that keeps the, that keeps Dr. Caffer so young. Right? So you just dip in there and you just go. Right? You take some of that and then you don't age and you can just stay here forever like Dr. Caffer. You are the five, never want to know what your life saved.